This video is presented by EA Game Changes and this is also not the final thing of the pack. So yeah, there might be changes when it's released. Hey hens, how are we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? Welcome back to another episode of Cottage Living. I am absolutely big fat, like 100% fully, your honor. I am loving this LP. So the next episode, oh, my microphone is going to fall. Oh, one moment. Are we ready? Aye, aye, captain. Admittedly, right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to tell you, babe, things have changed because I thought I started recording, it was like 1 p.m. on a Wednesday or whatever. And I was like, you know what, I might as well do some things off camera so I don't have to do them on camera, like make sure everyone's fed and stuff. And then it, this guy turned up at my door, and then you know what? I don't know what happened to me, babe. Everything just ran away with me, and I felt I felt the love and romance. Cupid struck me with his arrow or something, because I ended up getting pregnant again to him, and then we got married and he's moved in now, so he is no longer the creature keeper because he is in fact our husband so we have a new creature keeper don't know who it is i've not met him but then he also thought well how wonderful that this can be my farm hand this can be me kook and then i can just go along living life so it's called being versatile that's that that's what i've done i also got every single bit of food that I could put into the fridge, into the fridge, apart from, well, I can't put that in. Because I want to make more animal treats. We need to learn how to make, oh, we need like all of them. But I want to make an obsidian egg, so I'm going to make four spicy treats. I need to vary my eggs up, honestly, because I'm just not, I'm just, I'm not involved with the egg making process as much as I would like to be. So that's that. Spicy treat, there we go. Oh, they can have spicy treat? What? Why not? Can you have a spicy treat? There we go, we'll give you a spicy treat. I also really need to clean my llamas, but thankfully I can just send... My my husband over here to clean them all for me honestly i never thought that i would ever get married but if i could get married to shit oh my god i didn't realize it'd fucking die the wool like that i just thought that, oh my god i just thought that when we sheared him i don't know it just changed to the the other wool i also my child is absolutely starving doesn't sound like a me problem thank god i've got a husband oh look at me fox hey babe oh what i can't sleep is it <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. Maybe Fox is just like a swimmer. I'm not to know. Today, what I want to do is I want to focus on Crumple Bottom and do Crumple Bottom's tasks. Although I might need to send Michael Bell to do it because Crumple Bottom does actually hate us because we tried to flirt with her. But I also might send myself because I could go flirt with her. Do you know what I mean? I've got some one-liners I can give her. I have just pissed myself though. She might actually want to hit me with a handbag and I may actually deserve it. So you never know. Right, let's go. I am pregante. She can't fight me while I'm pregnant. She will like, she might, <laughs> but she shouldn't. <laughs> Morally, she probably shouldn't fight me. Logistically, it would be quite funny. I also got a coffee just in case anyone was curious from the last episode i have i have in fact got one yeah you're all right babe normally you know that like you pissed yourself right so this is one of the ones that we can do grocery shop order so we can do we can offer her help with errands <laughs> i'm sorry just even a face makes me <laughs> Right, that's the garden shop owner. Is this one a different grocery shop owner? Yeah, I'm going to do Agnes's. I'm going to... A friendly introduction. <laughs> you don't know me, babe. You don't know me. Right, offer her help with errands. I'm just going to do all of them at one time. I think if you're actually going to, like, play this uh, in a slow manner off camera like the majority of you play, I, I think I'd only, like, pick one at a time. What's this? Who are you? What do you want from me? Oh, you want to help? We'll see about that. I've been meaning to get a pumpkin, and that pub's been a hot spot of disgust. Disgustingly flirty sims. Show me you know the first thing about growing things and berating folks and maybe I'll have more for you too. Oh, and I could use a drink. I love it, Agnes. You know what you want and you go out and get it, babe. Or you get other people to go out and get it for you, babe. And I appreciate you. How's that garden of yours going? You do have a garden, right? I was on the lookout for some new plants, so it's settled then. You're going to help me? There we go. This tells us what we get as well. I completely overlooked that with the last one. We got oversized crop seeds, fertilizer, and a chance to receive a berry or mushroom. Oh, and a cross-stitch pattern. So we can get cross-stitch patterns. Oh, I love that. Helpful, huh? Actions speak louder than words. Fuck, calm yourself, Agnes. Oh my God. She's looking directly into the camera as well. She's looking at me. I am a bit thrilled. Surely not. Surely not. This feels like a Sims 2 moment when the Sims are just stop and then just stare into the camera. This isn't the office, babe. Oh, she's a bitch. She's a bitch. Right, we need to plant pumpkin. Scold the grocery owner. Oh, I do feel guilt. I do. Scold on Agnes's behalf. I need to take a screenshot of that. That is absolutely 10 out of 10. I, you know what? I do love her. I'm a scared of her. Yes. But I can be scared of someone and appreciate them at the same time, actually. Right, there we go. Scold on Agnes's behalf. I hope we get a handbag out. No. <laughs> Yikes, you're almost as scary as that grumpy old 
little crumple bottom. I'm still not entirely sure what I did wrong, but it'd almost be an abnormal day if I didn't get a scolding from her. Oh, God bless her. Can you imagine just like, being out here trying to sell your pumpkins and you've got that fucking bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Literally opposite you. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love it. We also need to bring some milk to Agnes, but I do think that we've got some in our inventory, I think. There you go. You can have that. And then all we need to do is plant a pumpkin. We are in like a open garden space area. So I'm going to see if they have any plant boxes out here. So I don't have to sit through another loading screen, please. There we go. Well, I can't plant them there. I'm going to have to go home. Do I even have space? I don't think I do. Can I not just like, no, I'm going to have to buy another one. I am not having Agnes's crops over near any of mine. Absolutely not. So Agnes can have her own little special corner over here. Because I think honestly, any of my plants being in the presence of Agnes's plants are going to make them wilt. Oh, I've just unlocked the lettuce cross cross stitch pattern and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Is that all of it done? No, I've still got that to go. A satisfactory outcome. Yes. Turns out you weren't a complete waste of my time. I'm sure I can put your idle hands to good use in the future. So do come see me again. Oh, the devil will find work for idle hands to do. And I do think that the devil may potentially be Agnes. Although... You know what? I would just like to take the second. No offence to my gardener, but he's fucking shit. Look at the absolute state of me garden. Do I have lettuce growing? I, I have lettuce here and that's a lettuce. So can I just harvest this? Right, I'll go deliver the lettuce to Agnes since she doth request it. Oh, Bob, go home, babe. Go home. Haven't you got a wife and kid at home? Right, deliver the lettuce. There you go, babes. Oh my God, we have a lot. The girl's got a bit of a green thumb about her. Not too shabby. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, no. So we get more. So it's not just like three and then you're done. More come up. All right. Well, I'm going to do this one as well because I want more cross stitch patterns. Maybe you aren't so useless after all. If you really want to prove yourself, I've got some even bigger errands for you to do. And don't say I didn't warn you. I expect these will take you more time than just a shake of a llama's tail. If you catch my meaning. I don't. <laughs> I'm like, what is that supposed to mean? Does it take a llama a long time uh, to do that? Deliver a cross stitch and a jar of mayonnaise. How do we even make Make mayonnaise. You'll need a level three cooking skill and an egg. Then mayonnaise can be made by canning eggs on a stove. Right. Oh my god, I'm excited. I'm fucking excited for this. I love this. This is 100 percent like I I I love like making food and stuff like that. That's always been one of my favorite things to do in, in in the Sims franchise as a whole. Like the pizza thing from the Sims 3 store. Never had it. Love to live vicariously through Life Simmer and watch her Sims make pizza things on there. I love it. And also I didn't realize in the lot traits i didn't realize simple living i don't know why i just took this as off the grid but simple living means that you, you can't cook a recipe unless you have all the ingredients which i think is absolutely class like i am a big fan of that canning i haven't even looked at this section oh we already have eggs all right go can some mayonnaise can can you do the can can what's that oh it's a toddler book i don't know why i thought this was some high-tech device there's me mayo it's a poor quality tommy tnt fury would hate it i'm gonna fertilize them as well with the grow fast because i, I need these <gasps> michael aged up i have been catfished by this man <laughs> i am sensing a bit of an age gap oh well <laughs> we're two children deep <laughs> right there's that what was the other thing i need to do for a cross stitch i'm gonna get working on the cross stitch while i always think that is the cross stitch thing right res resume that shape i did have a cross stitch finished though didn't i i don't know where i've put it i'm also gonna frame them photos of me in me giant crop i've reached level two of the cross stitch skill is cross stitching an easy thing to get into because i do think that i would actually quite like to no 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 oh me poor little fox which one is it arrow oh, i would have been a bit more bothered if it was sly or kylie but oh still no <laughs> he had a good soul oh bless him oh no he looks sad he looks unrendered i'll tell you that one for free can we beg for his life will you react to this death thank you insensitive bitch you know oh, i would have been a bit more bothered if it was sly or kylie I was pretty rather aggressive. Does he get a gravestone? Death. Why do I call him Death when his name's the Grim Reaper? We need to get on this cross stitch. We need to deliver this to Agnes because quite frankly, I'm scared of her. Oh, look at the vibes. The fucking gnome. Cheeky bastard. Is it done? Oh, no. She pulled it back out. She was just yawning. If we have to pull an all-nighter, we have to pull an all-nighter. I'm just, I think it, I made the right decision marrying this guy though because he can do all my work for me. All right, I'll catch us in the morning. Oh, Michael has discovered information about red llama wool. Open notebook, thank 
thank you. This llama's on fire. <laughs> right, this reduces the cost of certain cross stitch patterns. Can also be traded to the creature keeper in the Bramblewood for animal clothing. Fun. Oh my God, we finished it. Now we just need to wait for the pumpkins. Well, you know what? While we wait for them to grow, did we fertilize these? I think I fer fertilized these. While we wait for them to grow, I'm going to deliver the mail and the cross stitch printer, Agnes. She might be in a better mood today. I might even see what they have for sale at the shop. You never know, darling. You never know. Right, literally, I am so sorry to this woman. I am going <laughs> to avoid her at all costs because I do feel a little bit bad, actually. All right, there you go. Have the cross stitch, babe. You venomous little bastard, yeah. Oh. Keeps looking directly in the camera and that is making me feel uncomfortable. Agnes seemed to think that cross stitch was adequate, which is also asked Jessie to bring you yet another cross stitch. Fucking hell, Agnes. Beggars can be choosers, babe. Apparently, according to her. Right, cross stitch, cross stitch, cross stitch, babe. We need to please Agnes. Oh my God, we had, what object or pack was it recently? We had a pack where there was like cross stitches on the wall. I wonder if that was a hint to this. Is that a lettuce? That's, that is good, that. Put an inventory. Oh, and we can view slash read it. Well, I missed the opportunity because it's in my inventory now. Right, you better like this cross stitch, Agnes. I actually tried really hard at this. Oh. <laughs> Agnes seems even less pleased with this cross stitch, if that's possible. Fuck off, you Tory pig. Disapproving of Jessie's cross stitching skills, she implies that she'll show her a truly stunning cross, cross stitch herself. My God, this is actually really hard to say. If Jessie can manage the menial task of bringing her some wool. I have wool, babe. Buy a mystery box. I would like that. Also deliver mayonnaise while we're here. And then we do also have wool. Deliver white llama wool. There we go. Okay. Well, I think that one was just done. So now we only need to harvest a homegrown pumpkin. But we did buy this mystery box as well. And I do want to know what's inside of it. Just a uh, hyper growth fertilizer. Oh, Agnes is angry. Do you know what? I'm literally too pregnant to deal with this, babe. I'm going. How are me animals doing? I'm sorry I've neglected you, babe. Let's just vent to life. Vent to cow about life even. I'm going to give him a spicy treat and I'll see what he does. Mm. <laughs> he's not pleased about the baby. <laughs> oh, dears. He's very hungry. Shit. Well, eat a Yorkshire pudding then. Agnes Crumblebottom would like to come over and hang out. Is that okay? Um... <laughs> There she is, jogging in the background. I am a bit scared, actually. Oh, we also got fire milk from that. That's fun. So what can fire milk do? Drinking fire milk is hot going down even hotter coming back up. But can it be used in anything? I'm going to drink it and find out. I'm not going to rely on theory. I'm going to rely on practice. Chug, chug, chug. If you don't get the shits off this, I'll be grossly disappointed, babe. I might try and get my toddler to be nasty to Agnes and see if Agnes says... <gasps> She's knocked me bin over the fucking bitch. <laughs> ah, you tell her, Daisy. Oh my God, she's just farted in a general direction. That is the ultimate insult. Oh my God, we can hit her. Hang on, she's just shitting herself and then she'll get on with the, <laughs> with the assault. That wasn't a hit. You can hit her harder than that. I guess we have a negative relationship and that is how I'd like to keep it. Now you're going to have to go home, babe. I'm going to get Michael to cook a nice family tea. Because we've got time. All we're waiting for right now is for the pumpkins to grow. Let's do a four meat wellington. Four meat wellington. Watermelon salad. Hi. Oh my God, what the fuck did we... We moved up. We moved up a level. This is news to me. I am shocked. Now we've got to reach maximum relationship with a cow, chicken or llama, receive three gifts from rabbits or birds and win a competition in Henford on Bagley's Finchwick Fair. Oh, well, the Finchwick Fair is tomorrow, actually, isn't it? And it's also my toddler's birthday. We might go there. It's a full family llama ding dong. Oh, that'll be amazing. I'll show off me cow. Oh, look, he's pausing for the camera. <laughs> I love him. You know what? I did think I had the best relationship with Tiny Tim, but I do actually think I'm closest to Brown Cow. Can I even... No, I don't want to name him. Brown Cow is his name. We are also pregnant, which I keep forgetting about, honestly. And our third trimester is in three hours, so we might even have another child by then. Who knows? Who knows? Did Michael cook that meal? Oh, there it is. Right, call everybody, call to mail. We are having a family affair. Is anyone coming to the table with me? Oh, right, well, it wasn't a family affair. I ate by myself, but that's that, isn't it? <laughs> right, I think I'm going to catch up with you in the morning because I'm just going to be sat here doing nothing. So I will see you then. Right, it is the morning and it is also officially the day of the cow competition. So I actually need to take care of my cow. <laughs> I do need to take some, some responsibility for my animals. I will be honest, I will be honest. You know what? I'm just going to... This farm is so big, which is like a good thing. I am happy with the build that I've done, but also it, it, it is too big almost. So she said. I also need to clean the cow, but I'll, I think I'm going to work on the relationship with it to try and complete this part of it as well. Two birds, one stone and all that. No, do not empty the trash. Jessica, we literally have a competition to get to. My sim is fucking 
and stupid. Oh, God bless. I am just going to have to cheat them clean because I do feel guilty putting so much attention into one cow and then <laughs> just ignoring the others. I also love this tip and cow thing. I think this is very clever. This is like 100% the sims team humor from like the previous games it reminds me of the sims one. Oh look how much he loves us i think it's also my toddler's birthday as well oh there we go we completed that one reach maximum relationship with the cow chicken or llama oh i do love this cow it is in fact our birthday day i don't know whether to do the birthday celebration now i might do that actually and then we can just go to the competition with an actual child instead of trying to bring a toddler about with us what cake do you choose in the sims as well because i always choose a chocolate cake all right there we go that is not candles help. Oh my God. Ah, I did actually buy a bath as well while we were away. Where are you going? Have your birthday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god we aged up well i think i'm gonna have animal enthusiasts as well because I do, I do love it i do probably more because we're going to be like playing on the farm i think this is outside of just this lp like once i finish this on youtube i think i'm going to continue playing this family because i have grown quite attached to this family although it does not look like it <laughs> because i do not treat them with any kind of respect but yeah i also want to jump in uh create sim as well because again you will know because you've been watching this lp i didn't jump in child create sim so we basically got all of the same hairs which is good I'm going to pick that hair because in my mind, this child, she works on the farm. Do you know what I mean? She hasn't got time to sit and do her hair and stuff like that. Too busy milking cows. That is that is the only type of law you're getting with this. <laughs> I do like the clothes that come with it though. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're canny as. They're so cute. I love it. I love it. I also dressed cottage coffee today. Picked my outfit thinking about yous. And I done my makeup thinking about yous. <laughs> So I was like, I've got to record for this LP today. I want, I want to dress up nice for I want to get my cottage car kit on. I also need to get her a bunk bed as well. I shouldn't have deleted that bed, actually. I'm going to put a bunk bed in. Can I put a bunk bed just like straight on top of this bed? Please let me. No. No. I remember in the older games, it literally cost us money to recolor things. I also haven't given him a single toy this entire time. God bless him. Don't mind me getting actually invested in, in these kids. Now I feel bad. I feel like I've probably got to give him a, a nice home. That'll do. Oh, God bless him. God love him. Right, there we go. That's done. Bish, bash, bosh. If you're wondering what these are, by the way, these work off the grid. So when I was off the grid with this house, I put loads of tiny lights. So if you see little lights in the background, that is that is 100%. Why, babe? Can you use the toilet and can you fuck off? Come on, because it is nearly the time of the show and i am not having my time at the show ruined by some kid who's gonna piss the pants right the finchwick fair has started show fair information make sure your cow is in the mood to win and come compete in the cow competition visit the local blah 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 compete in the fair i want to win i want to win my cow is lovely and he's even dressed up for the occasion travel to the finchwick fair just just daisy and michael honestly i don't want to knock about with the crumple bottoms today thanking y'all i both can and can't believe that agnes crumple bottom asked to come over at my house and then spend the time here knocking over my Really been. Did we bring the cow? <gasps> Shit, I forgot the fucking cow. I can't believe I forgot. I forgot to take me fucking cow to the cow competition. To be fair, I'm not surprised I forgot it though, because it is kind of unrealistic to just put a cow in your back pocket. Do you know what I mean? Like they'll they'll, they'll literally look at me at the competition and be like, oh, are you pregnant? I'll be like, nah, I've got the cow in here. <laughs> like, how is this realistic? Right. Do we have the cow? We have the cow. Brown cow is in our inv inventory. Oh my God, I thought I was never, is that where I was supposed to submit the cows? Do we have any milk as well? Where do we put the cows? Oh, submit entry. There we go. I'm going to milk them while we're here. And then I'm also going to try and double our chances to submit the entry. Enriched milk. There we go. And then by the time we get home, our pumpkin might have been grown. Oh, she's so cute. I love me little family. Imagine if we gave birth at this place. I kind of hope we do, actually. I, I hope that is the ending that we get. I pay attention to my cow. Look, he's all dressed up. Don't leave my cow out of it. Oh, <laughs> I feel bad. Everybody's looking at it. Oh, bless you, babe. Oh, he's got a Sunday best on and all. Look at him. My heart. My heart is actually hurting for me cow. You better rate my milk 10 out of 10, Lavina. Otherwise, it'll be your head on the fucking chopper. Oh, my God. No, I have actually, I have, in fact, gone into labor. This is, this is perfect. Perfect. Oh, look how happy he is. I love me cow. I'm going to have me baby here next to my cow. The festival will end in one hour. Right, I am ready. I mean, I can't finish up the giving birth. Don't go home, babe. Don't go home. If you pass out, you pass out. But we've got to stay with our cow. She has pissed herself. She has. <laughs> Oh my god, drinking and rich milk will provide faster skill gain for a period of time. Interesting. We got second place. 
How the fuck? Oh, my poor cow. What about my milk? I'm devastated. How am I supposed to win a competition? The only way I can win a competition is if I kill every single sim in the town. It's plausible. I'm, I'm having a baby. It's a boy. What's the most British name you can think of? Stereotypically British male name. I'm not calling him Boris. St. John, Hugh. Hugh, it, yeah, Hugh. Nigel, Hugo. Oh, Hugo, because I like Hugo in Love Island at the minute. I do. <gasps> Twins! Bitch! What the fuck? Hugo, Hugh stay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I literally, I've only got the room for one toddler. Oh my God, my little family of five. Oh, bless them. Where's me cow? Where's me cow? Where's me cow? Where's me cow? Oh, thank God. I have just shit myself. Oh, a sign animal to shed. There we go. I was going to say. And how are me pumpkins? You know what? They're very, they're taking a long time. I might cheat. Oh, Hustain and Hugo are very hungry. I, I literally don't have the time for this, babe. I can't even cheat. Oh my God. Thank God. The groan, the groan, the groan. I've pulled an all night of talking to these fucking plants. I literally can't wait another day. Right. I think I am going to wait another day, but I think I'm going to wait the day off camera and then just come back to you. Oh, look at that little rabbit. It's taking a bit of time, actually. It is. <laughs> I'm not being fucking funny, right? I am making them try for another baby i am i am i'm a family oriented same i am as i am and i do what i do and i enjoy what i do what i don't enjoy is the fact oh no they're ready oh my god thank fucking lord for that because i've literally had a sign come up saying it's almost michael's time make the most of these final days i do play on short lifespan sorry i know it's a toxic trait of mine but i thought there's no way that this man is gonna die before my pumpkins have been ready to harvest absolutely no way but apparently no the the pumpkins came through they did they did but i had to wait days for him i also might have the twins taken away from me and we are potentially actually let me go take a pregnancy test toilet's broke everything's gone peak tong literally nothing's going right i am pregnant though i am and i do think that babies are a gift from god if you would like them if you wouldn't like them then you know where to go and i also spot that one i am very much pro-choice took a turn i just wanted to make my views known on it i judge no person but whichever route they go down i have harvested a homegrown pumpkin i fucking harvested it you bitch I'm gonna scream actually i am I'm going to have to go see Agnes. I know it's six o'clock in the morning, but knock, 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 bitch. I've got a problem. Oh, you know what? Why don't we? While we wait, we just have a nice quaint breakfast at this pub. Order food. Put a crumpets. We'll have some crumpets for breakfast, eh? <laughs> that man just tried to talk to us and we said not today, bitch, and then moved seats. <laughs> right, Agnes is open. I don't know what to do with that one because I have literally harvested a homegrown pumpkin. And I feel like I'm so far into it that I can't just sack it off. I'm going to sack it off. I do feel bad because I did spend a lot of time there, actually. I think that might... Is it a glitch? Because there were, there were homegrown pumpkins. But also, this is not the final version of the game yet. So that might be why. I'm also... It's my birthday day, bitch. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I am going to end this part here. I am really sad and disappointed. <laughs> Also, my husband's about to die, and I am pregnant with my fourth child, so... I'm having a whale of a time, actually. I am. I am. I'm having a lot of fun. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on grocery shop owner and then the mayor as well. But I think, I don't think I'm going to do any of the further tasks. I think I'm just going to try and do two in one video and then that's that video. And then I think the one after that, I think we're going to try and finish the lifetime aspiration. So that's going to be fun. So I will see you in the next episode. I love you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one, which I'm going to record now. I love you. <laughs> Did you get that? I love yous. Uh, and bye. Bitch.